Much of the violence that we as humans inflict on others happens in less than two minutes. Whether it is rage against a driver who abruptly turns into our freeway lane, or anger from a surfer who takes off in a wave we believed was ours alone. Michael Tobias, in his book Life Force, writes at length about the ancient Jain practice of ahimsa, or nonviolence, and how becoming acutely aware of the sufferings of others can be mitigated if we just stopped and deeply thought about how much unnecessary pain and suffering we cause to a variety of life forms surrounding us. As Tobias explains, to temper that killer in man and the subsequent killing fields is to grope with those few moments where conflict begins. Two minutes of unthinking, unfeeling behavior, whether in the eating of a hamburger, the casting of a fishing line, or more subtly, the habit of taking one's children to a circus to view animals who in fact have been reduced to insanity and pain. Two minutes of our own insanity in the breeding of a captive animals who are meant to be free, or worse, the abandoning of those pets to certain death, in the reigning or worse, the racing of horses, the killing of bugs in a frenzy of vindictiveness, as opposed to more patiently removing them without injury. The litany of transgressions cascades with numbing ubiquity. And it all comes down to the collaboration, mindful or not, with atrocity carried out by or on behalf of humans and committed against other living creatures, whether around the dinner table, on the job, on the farm, in the ranch, in the street, or at the grocery store. Jainism arose as a systematic response to human and animal violence by positing a radical alternative, the path of ahimsa or nonviolence. Their argument is a simple but profound one. If we can lessen the pain and suffering of those around us, why not choose that option instead of needlessly perpetuating the never-ending cycle of violent retribution? Jainism raises a most pregnant question for all of us. How big is our circle of compassion? Can we extend its circumference beyond ourselves and kin to include other human beings, not of our own tribe, or even further to include animals and other living beings? In those brief moments where we almost instinctively lash out at others, can we instead pause and change our responses? The Jains believe that we can and have demonstrated over thousands of years how it can be ecologically and ethically successful. It is a very telling fact indeed that Jainism is the only major world religion that has never engaged in war.